What up guys, this is Rick over at Provost Customs. We got this 1966 C10. We've taken it to a few shows and it's time to give you a quick breakdown on it. Check it out. Right, so this is the truck the customer had going. We picked it up. It was in primer at that point on a chopping block front and back half. It's got a LS1 with a 4L60 in it. Nothing was plumbed or wired yet, so we took it from there to what you see now. All right, so in this wood bed, it's a walnut wood. We uh, milled everything down in-house on the CNC, but it's a aero-actuated bed, so you can get to some of the stuff underneath there. And then along with that, we incorporated some uh, access hatches on the sides that can be used as ice chests or storage. And then in the front two pockets, we have um, batteries and then um, air compressors on both sides that can be accessed without the uh, bed being able to come up in case you get caught in the bind, you can get to that stuff as well. I'll we'll go ahead and actuate it and pop it up and show you guys what that looks like. All right, so for the wheels on this, we're running 22 inch intros all the way around 22s. We've got nine and a half wide up front, 12 in the rear. And as you can see, we got the Willwood disc tucked behind there and all four corners as well. So we got a lot going on inside this little C10 cab, but uh, we'll start with the seats. We got Snowden buckets that we uh, wrapped in house in Italian leather. Same pattern from the seats ties in with the headliner and door panels as well, all in leather. We created this lower dash piece that holds the vintage air controls. We have the resto mod vents on either side, resto mod vents in the dash. We have a center console out of a 19 Silverado. We got the phone charger that works inside that center console. We milled down some of the same walnut from the bed wood, holds the airlift controller, e-brake, and then we have the JL DRC knob for the volume. You can see in the lower door panels, we have the same walnut that we have in the bed wood as well. We also have a little piece on the glove box. The uh, steering wheels, billet specialties, kind of complements the wheels that are on it. And then we have the Dakota digital gauges, look really nice and modern inside of this pickup truck. Um, for audio in here, we have um, JL center channel, tucked behind the factory vents. Then we have uh, Morel Virtus Nanos, two ways down on the kick panels. We're powering it off of a JL VXI 705. And then for base, we have a PW312 right behind the center console. And then for the carpet, we have a brown German weave that's binded in the same Italian leather from the seat store panels and headliner. And then a German weave floor mats just to protect that carpet as well. And under the hood, here's the uh, LS1 we got. Everything's just clean and tidy underneath there. Not a whole lot to see that you shouldn't see. And if you do see it, it's because it has to be there. That's it. This uh, truck turned out killer. It's ready to roll, ready to have some fun in. Thanks for checking out the video. Let us know what you think. Peace.